Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I'd give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? Kill you again.
Try and outflank them! Yeah, he would have killed me if I got executed. You're still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death. But, you know, we found a way to make it work. How long were you in jail anyway? Two years and 31 days. So not like you were counting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, the guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiving than I am. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, Ben King wrote an autobiography, Dex is a... Yo, don't even get me started with Dex. But the real kick is is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the Alder. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. 107.77!